Hello, beautiful butterflies in transformation, just like me. How are y'all doing today? I am here. I hope you're doing great. Before I just start into what I was getting ready to say, I hope y'all are doing well. I'm having a beautiful day because I thrive and I am glad to be alive. The joy of taking in the fresh air. I'm bringing to you guys today Manifesting Money Mondays. I have pulled three cards for us. Take a look at the messages. We have the Money in the Law of Attraction deck and my favorite, Angels of Abundance by Mrs. Doreen Virtue, who is now confused. But anyway, we have the Positivity, Optimism, and Faith cards, okay? This has to do with you keeping your energy at a certain place. Remember, we do not manifest by working hard. We manifest with our emotional energy. And when your emotional energy starts to feel good on a regular basis, money has no choice but to follow you. You guys should have joined us last week for the last few days of my 11-day money manifesting challenge. And by the way, we're getting ready to crank up today our 30-day self-love challenge on patreon.com. Check us out over there. We're doing all kinds of great stuff well above and beyond our challenges. But anyway, you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Y'all know me, I always say this. Keep the dream-killing energies out of your life. Curb the dusties and the energy vampires, which are those people who nine times out of ten are draining your finances. Look in your life at the people that are draining your finances and nine times out of ten they will be the same doggone dusties and pages of pinnacles and adult children who are draining you energetically, who are wearing you out mentally and emotionally and costing you your physical health and your coins. A belief, okay? Here we're talking about beliefs, okay? This again is a message that uh, resonates with the law of attraction responds to your vibration. Let's take a look at it. A belief is nothing more than a chronic pattern of thought, and you have the ability, even if you try a little bit, to begin a new pattern, to tell a new story, to achieve a different vibration, and to change your point of attraction. Beliefs are critical. A thought that you think over and over and over again becomes a belief. A belief becomes lodged in your subconscious, and your subconscious governs over 90% of your reality. So if your beliefs are not aligned with what you want to create, you can say whatever you want in your waking hours. You can do all the affirmations under the sun and you will still find yourself creating and cranking out the same reality every day. The law of attraction is responding to your vibration. Life is vibrational, y'all. I swear to you. Life is only vibration. You can change the way you think about something in a day and your whole mood will lift and your whole experience will lift and all of your worries and anything else you might be dealing with you'll see them from a new perspective and then eventually as you continue with that vibration your actual physical circumstances your 3d reality which is show, slower to respond because we're talking about density i'm hitting the table density you know we're talking about we're not talking about fast vibrating energy like we are when we create things in the ether, our emotional energy, our thoughts. We're talking about a slower, more uh, reality that takes form and manifests in terms of physical things. So when you begin to make a vibrational shift, your reality is on its way to coming into form. You simply need to be patient and detach from what it is that you see around you because that represents the past, not the thoughts that you had today, unless your thoughts were negative. So the law of attraction is responding to your vibration and you can easily change your vibrational point of attraction by visualizing the lifestyle you desire and holding your attention upon those images until you begin to feel relief, which will indicate that a true vibrational shift has occurred. That's why I love visualization, because when you visualize something, you really are imagining. And when people imagine, if someone says to you, think about getting a million dollars and whatever from a cognitive level the first thing that starts to happen is you start having all these competing thoughts about why it can't happen but if someone says imagine or if someone says pretend you go back to like that childlike innocence 
and you just totally suspend doubt, you totally suspend disbelief, and you just allow yourself to be in a place and the experience is as if it's real because you don't put up any blockages. So to really imagine something and to visualize is really magical because it takes you back to a place where you believed everything was possible. And the beauty of that is you really can become the magician with pretending and imagining. It is so powerful. Literally, as a man thinketh he is, right? Everything was created and commanded in, into existence with a word, with a thought, okay? With a certain uh, level of command. So the more that you do this, you'll be surprised the way things can shift. Y'all, I can't tell you the number of things that I have manifested on my vision board and in my life if I made my own little personal visualization movie or mind movie by just visualizing stuff. Everything started with a thought. The way you brought your life to its knees if you've done that and the chaos you created in your life, all of that started with a thought. So what makes you think that you can't create the opposite with visualizing what you want to actually bring into your reality? So this is beautiful. And the underlying energy underneath positive, positivity, faith, and optimism, something drew my eye to ask what was the underlying energy. So I flipped for that, and I got moonlighting. So when I look at this card about having faith and keeping your energy up, some of you need to pick up another job to help manifest some of your financial goals. But you need to also, for those of you who are looking at trying to start a side hustle or do something on the side that you're passionate about, pick it up as a side hobby and begin to energize that in addition to what you're doing every day. This is actually a better alternative than going and get a job, getting a job from Mr. Charlie because this won't make you tired because this is something that you're doing for yourself and it will definitely materialize. So look at all of the options that you have to manifest different types of wealth and channels of stream channeling uh, streams of income in your life but by by um, all means be optimistic be a believer and create the emotion of optimism and wealth first and as you create the emotion of that and you um, try to maintain being in a space living in the realm of possibility or living in the path of possibility rather than living in the path of what you see around you in definitive terms living in the path of possibility makes all of those things actually possible so optimism faith um, positivity are the things that help you live in the path of possibility and in a place of high vibration with very little effort Faith is what we have when we walk by um, what we believe and what we know is possible rather than what we see happening in our worlds. What is that saying? Uh, walk by faith and not by sight. So it's very powerful. So for those of you who are watching this video, continue to work on your, your thoughts because your thoughts become your beliefs. Your beliefs become what? Your patterns. Your patterns become your uh, actions. Your actions become your behaviors. Your behaviors. I don't know if I said it right. Your behaviors become your life. Your words become your um, thoughts. No, your thoughts become your words. I don't know. I'm making this up. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your, yeah, your actions. They could go either way. Your actions become your deeds over a period of time. These deeds produce patterns. These patterns produce prolonged chronic behaviors, and they produce your life and your character. So take it in a different direction if you want to go and stay hopeful. If you have an idea, start to pursue it. If it's income generating and you know what it is, don't worry about how you're going to get from point A to point Z. Just have faith and stay positive and stay on your path and spirit will make sure you get, you get there. Lots of love to you. This is Tanisha Ali helping you to level up, helping you to clear and heal your energetic blockages, helping you to gain clarity and helping you to manifest the glory of God that is you.